Oh, whoops. This isn't my DS. This is my DNA Duo playing on hardware that feels good to play on with two OLED panels on the Odin 2 portal. Yeah, that 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 was that was my plug for my DNA Duo. What's going on, DMG clan? Do you guys remember this thing right here? This thing was the future of our four cards of 2024. And then we never saw an update again. Until today, we are going to be able to use Twilight Menu the way Twilight Menu is meant to be used on this card after today. If you bought this card recently, you're in for a huge treat. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And don't forget to check out my DNA Duo if you want to learn more about that. Now, I have every DS type of console sitting on the table here, except for the DS Lite. It works just fine in the DS Lite. Don't freak out. I have one over there somewhere. I don't know where it is. But this Easy Flash Parallel card came out last year, and it didn't get any more updates after, like, six months of being released, and it just stopped being kind of useful for some people because Twilight Menu really does a good job, and thank you to Rocket Robs and their team for being able to produce this awesome basically loader for us to use today i'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting this set up and ready to go i already have a micro sd card plugged into my computer right here now we are over on the computer we're not down at the camera anymore i'm letting you know that and i have this card formatted already but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys a program that you're going to use which is called rufus i already have it open here but download the version of rufus for your computer if yours is windows just download the one that says 4.6.exe and now open it then you're going to see this option right here that says boot selection change it to non-bootable and then you can give your actual card a name and be on your merry way. So I'm gonna name it Easy Flash TW, Twilight Menu. And make sure FAT32 is selected because that's very important. And then if this is checked off that says create extended label icon file, just make sure it's not checked. And then what you're gonna do is click the start button and click okay. Now that we have this formatted, I'm telling you to do it this way because you're probably going to try to do it with a 64 gigabyte card, I bet you. I don't know. There's no point of using anything bigger than 32 gigabytes because you're probably never going to play all 150,000 games that are on the NDS. I don't remember how many games there are. There's not that many, but now that you've downloaded and installed Rufus and formatted your card, you're going to navigate to this website right here and get the latest cheat file. I'm going to put the link in the description below for you to get this. And I'm going to make a notepad just for this exact video so that I don't forget to actually put the links in the description below because sometimes I do that. I haven't been bad with that lately, but yeah, I do that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this file right here that's usercheat.dat, click on the three dots and click download. Let it download to your downloads and there it is right there. And you're gonna navigate to this website right here which is the original Easy Flash basically files. If you already have your SD card set up, I'm gonna tell you really quickly what we're gonna do in that section of the video, but I'm going to download Download this and assume that you're going to be starting from scratch now what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to this website i'm going to copy this file too which is the github repository for the latest version of the flash card easy flash twilight menu so what you're going to do is navigate down here where it says assets now if the assets is not open make sure it's open make sure you're grabbing 27.13 and it has been updated as of last week. Now you're gonna click on the Twilight Menu dash flashcard.7z file and let it download as well. Now you're gonna navigate to your downloads folder. You're going to extract the Twilight Menu folder. Make sure you listen to that part extract it do not just navigate inside it extract it to your downloads directory and wait for it to extract and then we'll move on to the next part i'm going to close this window and i'm going to extract the easy flash kernel which is right here and i'm going to click on that button and i'm going to click extract as well now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab just this folder now this method is going to show you how to basically automatically load into twilight menu so that's why i'm not grabbing this file so what we're gonna do is just grab this folder right here. We're gonna navigate to our SD card and paste it right there. Now you probably won't see the system volume information. That's just because I have it set up so that I can see hidden files and all that kind of stuff. So don't worry about that, just ignore that. If you do see it, then great. It's not necessary. It's not something that you should see. This is just the root of my SD card. Don't freak out, it's the root of my SD card. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize this window and we're gonna navigate into the Twilight Menu flashcard folder. You're going to grab the boot.nds, the .snemule config file, the version.txt, the nds file folder, and the roms folder. You're going to copy those, so control C or right click copy, 
and navigate over to your easy flash card again so go back over there and paste all of those files and folders in here now navigate back to your downloads directory so i'm back in here we're going to grab this user cheat.dat file right click on it and click copy navigate back to your sd card and navigate in the underscore nds folder the twilight menu folder the extras folder and paste that file right there now you're going to grab your game so let's navigate back to the root of our sd card go to the roms folder go to your nds folder and copy whatever games you have now i have my games just sitting in a folder right here called my nds games and saves so i'm going to grab all of these files and folders right here and click copy and then i'm going to navigate back to the root of my sd card in my nds folder and paste this in here now i'm going to go back to the root of my sd card now this section applies to those that already have their files set up. You're going to see an easy ds.dat file in here. Delete it, okay? Delete that file and then navigate back over to your downloads folder and navigate back into the Twilight Menu flashcard folder and navigate into the auto boot folder and look for the folder that says easy flash parallel. Double click on it and grab that easy ds.dat folder file because I did it this way and it worked. So just do it this way, delete that old folder inside of your SD card, if it exists. Now this doesn't apply to people that are new. This is just for people that already have this set up because I did a video guide about this last year where you could boot Twilight Menu and use it still, but you couldn't auto boot load into it. And this is the way to do that. So paste this file right here. Now that we have everything set and ready to go, we can actually plug this back into our easy flash card. Now let's plug our micro SD card into our easy flash and let's pick a DS of choice. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, this one right here. We're gonna use the DS. Just because I know you guys will probably wanna see it. See this broken hinge? Well, that's probably why I play on my uh, emulator of choice. Anyways, let's power on our device. Press A. Now select the game file. And right here, you're going to select A for GUI system and then select your region. I am in North America, so I'm gonna select USA. I'm in Canada, by the way. If anybody wants to know, I'm in Canada, hey. And now we're going to select the ROMs folder and navigate over to the NDS folder. Now I did test this with saves and everything. It all works fine. Make sure if you're doing this not from scratch to back up your save files just in case, However, there's the games and everything. Now, when I press the Y button, this opens up a menu and then it opens up another menu when you wanna use cheats. So I'm gonna use game enhancer codes. Make sure this is set to save after, as you can see at the bottom, it says press X to save. So make sure you save it after you set some cheats. Now the cheats work, cheats work great and everything. So just select your game. What I just did was to cheat to skip the intro, but it doesn't matter for me because I have a game save on here. So it's not gonna really make a difference. Now, when we press A, it might give you that error saying your format is not proper, just ignore it, but we're going to let it load. This takes about three minutes for the very first time. I don't know why it's taking so long, but I think Rocket Robs might need to optimize this or something. I'm not too sure, but this does take about three minutes. I calculated it and yeah, it takes a while. And here we go. We're off to the races. Yes, that took about three and a half minutes, I think. It's faster on the DSi and the 3DS consoles, but if you're gonna get a DSi or 3DS, you're probably just gonna hack it anyways. But this is more geared towards DS and DS Lite users, those that wanna use them still, and they still have life in them. But yeah, here we go. Now that only happens the very first time that you load a game, but now we are in the game for the very first time. I guess I could go over to a new world just to show you that the cheat was working too. So that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, it skipped the intro and the cheat works. So we're in the game, we're ready to rock. And now you can play off your easy flash using Twilight Menu. And for a bonus, if you've made it this far, press the R or L1 button, whatever, down and select, and a little window is gonna pop up. This is going to be where you can change like your brightness, you can do a screenshot and all that fun jazz now you can change like where the top display is and everything so if i want the top display to be on the bottom and just make things really weird then i can do that but i don't recommend it because you can't touch the touch the top screen so yeah i'm gonna go back to uh being the bottom screen and i'm gonna quit my game because you can do that as well now not all games work this way sometimes they crash don't freak out if they crash don't ask me questions if they crash it's just part of the software of rocket robs is software so now i can just navigate into another game ignore that sd card error i don't know why it pops up sometimes it 
works fine but as you can see here it's going to go into the new game it does show this menu takes about maybe 10 to 15 seconds sometimes and then you'll be gaming in no time enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you enjoy this and don't forget to check out my website for the dna duo